If you like our video, click the subscribe button to subscribe to our channel and get easy access to new content. To see our full suite of ad-free video courses and training materials, visit us at teachucomp.com. In Access, you should assign a primary key to each table you create. A primary key is a field or a group of fields that acts as a unique identifier for each table record. So you should use a field or group of fields that will always contain a unique value as your primary key. The advantages of assigning a primary key become more evident as you learn about relational database structures. When you assign a primary key to a table, it automatically indexes or sorts the table by the primary key. Also, because a primary key is a unique identifier for each record, it reduces the chance of entering duplicate information into the table. To create a primary key from a single field in Access, open the table in Design view if needed by selecting the table to open from the Navigation pane and then pressing the Control plus Enter keys on your keyboard. Alternatively, right-click it in the Navigation pane and then click the Design view command in the pop-up menu that appears. Then click the Row Selector button of the field to assign as the table's primary key when in the table's Design view. Then click the Primary Key button in the Tools button group on the Design tab within the Table Tools contextual tab of the ribbon to set the selected field as the table's primary key. A small picture of a key then appears in the Row Selector box to indicate the field is now assigned as the primary key. To remove the field from being the primary key for the table, select the Row Selector of the Primary Key field, and then click the Primary Key button again. Alternatively, to create a multiple field or composite primary key for a table in Access when in the table's design view, click the Row Selector for the first field to include as part of the composite primary key. Then hold down the Control key on your keyboard. Then click the Row Selector boxes of any other fields in the design grid to select as being members of the composite primary key. Then release the Control key on your keyboard. Then click the Primary Key button in the Tools button group on the Design tab of the Table Tools contextual tab in the ribbon. Alternatively, if there is no natural primary key in a table, consider creating a new Auto Number Data Type field as the table's unique identifier field, and then set it as the table's primary key. Remember to click the Subscribe button to see more of our videos. Get ad-free courses at teachucomp.com.